it's Sadia. So for today's video, I am going to be unboxing the Icon Box for February 2023. And um, without further ado, let's get started. So um, if you're new here, my name is Sadia. I do videos on beauty hauls, beauty reviews, um, subscription unboxings, and mystery boxes. Um, so make sure you subscribe. That way you won't miss out on the fun things I'll be posting every single week. Okay. So this is the icon box for February 2023. So if you don't know, um, Ipsy has a uh, another beauty subscription. It's um, quarterly, so it's every like three months. And it's basically curated by an icon, which is like a celebrity. Um, I think one time it was like Vanessa Hudgens, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Pat McGrath. And this time it's by Gwen Stefani. And um, I think it's like about like $50, maybe with tax, shipping, $60. And um, honestly, they're actually pretty good products. So if you're not into BoxyCharm by Ipsy, you might want to check out the Icon Box because they usually have really good stuff. So um, yeah, so I already know what's in here. I, you get, they pick five things for you and then you get to pick three things. So um Let's get into it. So basically my box looks like that. It came with a nice foam, so I'm really glad about that. And then you have a little flyer and it shows Gwen Stefani. And um, there are just like all these kind of different products and stuff. So um, yeah. All right, so let's get into the first thing. So the first thing was, this is what I chose. This is the Drunk Elephant Wonder Wild Miracle Butter. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, like, honestly, like, this product is so difficult to squeeze out. Like, I don't know if you can see, but that's how it looks like. It is so difficult to squeeze out. And honestly, basically, it's a nourishing solve that rescues and soothes dry, chapped, irritated skin. So I think this would be really good for winter. But I'm going to be honest with you, it's so hard to try. Like, I... I tried a little bit and I did like it and you can use it on your lips, your hands. Um, so essentially what I would do was I'm going to cut this off and then put, scrape out the product and put it in like an empty jar so I can use it. And, um, yeah. Uh, the next thing is the, this is the vitamin C brightening serum. Again, I chose this. So, um, it is by first aid beauty. I don't remember how much this was, but I think it was like $30 maybe. But basically vitamin C serum, it looks like this. You kind of, you can kind of like twist the cap and then it comes out. It's a very like watery formula, but it feels really nice. And uh, yeah, I tried it on today. I really like it. it. Gave me a really nice glow, felt really smooth to the skin. So uh, yeah, I like this product. Okay, um, all right, the next thing is the Dominique Cosmetics Essential Eyeshadow Palette. I'm really glad I got this. This was my power pick, and um, how much is this? This is, okay, it's $49, which honestly I think is a decent price for an eyeshadow palette. It's really nice, sorry, that and um it's a very nice neutral palette which i like i love the packaging that's really nice i like that it's like a nice sturdy packaging and that's kind of like all the shades as you can see you have some nice neutrals you have some browns you have a nice black you have some shimmer shades and um yeah let's get into some swatches for you guys i am going to swatch this molly shade I'm going to say the mattes, I really like them. I would say they're pretty buildable. Um, they're not super pigmented, but they're buildable, which I like. Um, and then let's go in with some shimmers. The shimmers are not honestly as pigmented, um, but they definitely do show up on the eye. Um, I find there's this one shadow that's pretty chunky. Um... But yeah, those are some of the shades. So you have some mattes, some shimmers. And uh, yeah, I think this is a great, uh, honestly, I think this is a great everyday palette. I actually wore it today on my eye. 
Um, so I first went in with this shade <coughs> to set the eye, the eye, and then I used this shade, and then I used this shade, and then I used this on um, my inner eyelid, and then I also went in with this shade. This shade's a little bit chunky, but the other shades are nice. Um, but uh, yeah, I think this is a really nice palette. I really do like this. I definitely see myself using this a lot. So uh, yeah, I love this Everyday Neutral palette really great. I think, honestly, this in itself, like, paid for the whole box, so I really love that. All right, um, so that's a beautiful palette. The next thing was, this was a, uh, Ipsy pick for me. This is the Danessa Myricks Beauty Yummy Skin Glow Serum Hydrating Primer Face Serum, and so it looks like that. love the packaging. I'm actually trying this on today, and I do really like it. It's really nice. Um, it's a glowy serum primer so it looks like that but it doesn't translate that onto the face it actually looks like kind of a little bit like clear but like a like a slight tint but um it's really nice it feels really nice smoothing um it made my makeup apply really nicely so i really like this i like the glow and um, yeah, I would say that don't try this with a glowy foundation because it'll make your skin like too glowy. That's what I did. Like I tried this with the Shaw Toby Flaws filter and it, my face was way too glowy. So um, yeah, I really like this. And a couple more things. The next thing is, this is the Rare Beauty Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick in the shade Bright Side. So I honestly really do uh, like this. I actually use this on an everyday basis. Let me see if I have, oh, I do have the bronzer here. So this is my personal bronzer. And oh, sorry, I forgot to share with you guys the prices of the primer and the bronzer. So, okay. The Danessa Marks primer is, that is $34. I think that's pretty pricey for a primer, um, but yeah. Uh, and the um, Rare Beauty bronzer is $26. So, um, yeah, I really like this. It basically looks like this. It's a nice cool town brown shade. So I love this for contour and it blends very effortless into the skin. I am running out of swatches, but basically it looks like that. It's a really nice, this color right here, sorry, this color right here, this nice cool tone brown shade. It looks really, really nice on the skin. It's nice and creamy. It blends really easily. I like how there's a lot of product in there. And you can just kind of like squeeze it out. I will say that this is a little loose, so be careful. And um, yeah, but I also will say that this gets messy really quickly, so you kind of be gotta be careful. But yeah, I really like this product, and uh, yeah. Okay. Um, a couple more things. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So I think uh, this is another power pick. This is the GXVE uh, High Performance Matte Lipstick. And it is in the shade Lovable Me. It's a really nice like brown mauve shade. So I love the packaging, really pretty. And this is how the lipstick looks. Really nice, pretty brown shade. I'm actually wearing it today. I think it's really nice. It's a nice, comfortable matte shade. And I just love how it's like a nice brown shade. So let me swatch it right there. So it's like a really pretty like brown mauve shade. As you can see, it's this shade right over here. It's just really, really pretty. So I really do like this lipstick and I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. All right. And then the next thing I got in my box was the JLo Body Firm and Flaunt Targeting Booty Balm. And, um, oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you how much the lipstick is. Okay, so the GSVE lipstick, where is it? Um, it is, hmm, I've got a lot of stuff here. Oh, it's about $26, which is pretty decent for a lipstick. Okay, the next thing was this JLo Beauty Balm, and it is, It is, how much are you? Probably gonna be a crazy amount. Um, hmm. 
weird. I don't see it here. Okay, I don't really see how much it is, but uh, yeah, I don't know how much it is. Maybe like $50, $60, but yeah. This is the JLo uh, Firm and Flaunt uh, Targeted Booty Balm Cream. Um, it says it's a targeted active formula that promotes skin elasticity over time, reduces the look of stretch marks and visibly firms and tightens the skin. It says you can apply it on the booty, the stomach, the thighs, any kind of area you want to see forming and toning. And honestly, this is kind of a weird product. I've never tried this, but this is interesting. Um, I don't, I mean, I'm definitely going to try it. I like how it's not just for the booty. Like you could also use it on your, your stomach. You could use it for like your legs. You could use it for your thighs, anywhere where you want some firming and toning. So uh, yeah, I guess that's the only power pick product that I'm like not really sure of. Um, and uh, yeah, and um, I think the last thing I got in my box was the Tower 28 Super Dew Shimmer Free Highlighter Balm. So this is what I chose. I'm gonna be honest with you, like the choices, like what Ipsy picked, that's really good. But the choices that we get to pick, like I don't feel like it was that good. Um, this balm is $18. And um, this is kind of the only thing I liked in that section. And so basically it's a highlighter, a little balm. I think it's gonna be really good for no makeup makeup days. I don't really know why I chose this, but kind of looks like that. It's very clear. Um, I don't even know if I can like swatch this, but it's, it's a little waxy and sticky. I don't really like it. It's, I mean, you know, it, it's a, I think it would be honestly, I might use this for where I, I need some more extra hydration, like maybe here, but I wouldn't use this as a highlighter per se. I like shimmery highlighters. Like I really like the cookie highlighter that I'm wearing today. But um, yeah, I probably use this for like extra hydration. I feel like if you got this in your box, you could just use it for places where you want some extra hydration. But um, yeah, those are kind of all the power picks and the choices that I picked. And then I picked some add-ons. So um, one of the add-ons I picked was the Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. I kind of wanted to try this because it looked really interesting. It is in the shade 020. And honestly, I wanted to try it. it. It looks really interesting. I mean, like, look at that. Like, I don't know if you can see, but there are like little bubbles in there, which is really interesting. But yeah, I was really interested to try that. Probably going to get maybe a couple uses out of that. And uh, yeah, and um, the last thing that I picked for my box, which was an add-on, is the Ula Henriksen Wrinkle Blur Bacuchil, Bacuchil Eye Gel Cream. And I've been using this. I really like this. Um, so basically a nice eye cream. It's really nice. I've been really liking this. And this was, I think, $12 in the store. But, um, yeah, so that was kind of everything in my box. Honestly, I think it was really good. I liked it way more than my Pat McGrath Icon box. I mean, I'm definitely going to use some of these for, like, a daily basis. Like, I would definitely use this eyeshadow palette. I would, you know, and this bronzer is really great. Um, I would definitely use this. I would definitely use, like, this lipstick. Um, you know, once I can get it out, I will use this. And, um, I mean, this is the only product that's kind of, like, questionable. So, I'm not really sure. But everything else, I really, really um, like. I think this box was really, really good. And um, I think it was definitely worth it. So, um, yeah, guys. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this box. If you got your Icon box and, like, what products that you picked out and um yeah that's this video thank you so much for watching if you like this video please leave a, le a like a comment down below subscribe to my channel have a great day and stay beautiful